Hey guys, Boomer here. I'm going to make a video. Uh, I had two trades today. I missed a second trade, which was clear to me kind of after I took uh, my first trade, and I'll explain. Um, but I want to start by saying um, I did open up a Discord room for everybody to participate in. There can be comments. You guys can talk to, talk amongst each other. Um, there's no cost. So I'm going to add the link here if you're interested in uh, learning how to trade and talking to other traders that are kind of new to this or maybe even some that are experienced. Um, just feel free to join the Discord group. You will definitely learn a lot, I believe, as more people join and start to communicate during the trading day on um, their their ideas, their thoughts, and things like that. I trade one specific way, um, and I will uh, continue to make videos at uh, the end of the day, not every day, but on most days that I can, and kind of show you what trades I did and my thought process behind it. But it's really trend line based and um, with a good signal bar. And that's pretty much how I how I trade. So um, without, for, again, it's in the, I'm going to leave it in the description. So feel free to click on that and join that Discord group. And um, most of those cost money. So I just decided not to charge anybody and uh, kind of see how it goes. Um, a lot of people have asked me to open it up. Today was the first day it was opened up. There were a couple of comments in there, not a ton, but as people discover it, I believe there'll be more comments in there and people discussing how to trade and things like that. Um, anyways, here is what I saw today. So the first thing is we have a, uh, as I wake up here and start trading, we have an uptrend. Um, and actually, the first trend that I had marked uh, looked a little bit more like that. Um, and that's kind of how, how I had it initially. Is um, Actually, I think I had it a little bit more in. I had it right there, sorry because I thought this right here was probably it, and uh, it somewhat fit on this side. So I, uh, I had it there, and then as uh, the day continued to move on, I realized, okay, that is actually not the right spot for it. That's the right spot for it, and it fits perfectly on the other side as well. Um, so I thought this was a trend line break at first when I took this trade, and that that was the new high. So I, I did end up, that's a first entry, second entry long, and then here is uh, above the EMA, we have a higher low, which is exactly what I was looking for. The reason I like this so much too is because you have two legs down. So there's your first trend, there's your break, and then there's your new low. Um, so you really have uh, two almost equal legs down after this uh, trend line break. That's exactly what you're looking for when you're trading. Um, you're not looking for the first entry, you're looking for the second entry. Unfortunately, the second entry was below here. Um, and then you move up above it and you get a nice higher low and actually, what else this was, was a failed breakout. Uh, you can see all the congestion here, and then you had a failed breakout, moves above, and a uh, really nice nice opportunity there to get a, a, pretty, nice, uh, a pretty nice trade. It wasn't, any, it wasn't a runner, but it was definitely a nice scalp. Um, in hindsight, um, as the day continued to go on, I realized that this was actually the break right here, and this was the attempt at a new high. So in saying that, kind of the same thing takes place. Um, so you get your uh, you get your move down. So there's your uh, first leg, break. There's your second leg. Now the second leg is much bigger than the first. But what I really like about this trade is there's your first entry short. There's your second entry short failure, and that was a really really nice trade to uh, to go long on. I did not take it. I wish I had. And then from there, um, this trend is played out, um, and you got a double top. And from there, we just uh, we start to see the trend moving down, and we continue to move our trend line with it until we get a break and a new low. Or, and this would have counted as an attempt for a new low, because you don't always get a new low. You get an attempt. Uh, predominantly, you will get a new low, but you always like here, you didn't get a new high. You got an attempt at a new high after that break. Uh, but you could kind of see the writing on the wall here, because this had moved so far down. So to believe that it would get a new high, I mean, it could have happened, but it just in general, when it moves that fast down, you know that momentum's pretty much done, and you'll probably just get a retest, and that's what we got here. Here you got a break and a new low, and you have an uptrend, because this one's played out, break, new high, okay? And you got a downtrend, break, and new low, and these are very short-term. The confusing part to some people is this. We had a nice move up, we had a break, and that was your only attempt there at a new high, okay? 
So you didn't get much of an attempt at a uh, at a new high here at all. Um, if anything, you could make the argument that this actually closed outside of the trend line, and that did make a new high there. Um, you could definitely make that argument for that trend. But I know some people were confused, like why we don't always get a uh, retest. Sometimes it's just a small attempt at a new high, and that's what happened here. There was just no momentum to that side, and then price continued to move down. And then, you know, from here, you had a really nice break, and then you had a new low. Okay, and you're actually at the overnight low at this point. So you mark that overnight low, and it comes back in play, and you're bouncing right off of it. And uh, some of you, if you were aggressive, you could have taken this one right here, which is bouncing off the overnight. It's a first entry, second entry, third entry short failure, and it actually would have worked for a scalp. Um, I'm not I'm not in favor of that trade, but at the same time, I know some people um, some people took that trade, and that's that's an okay trade. Uh, it definitely is an okay trade. I'm not convinced right now that we're that we're in an uptrend, and the reason is too. I don't like that this bar. There's like no room to the top here. So generally, I mean, you have a, you definitely have a trend up, and you definitely have a break, but you're expecting a new high, but you don't know by how much. You don't have a lot of room here. You have like a point to the high. That's it. So there's not a lot of room for a trade. And actually, it went right up to the high and turned around. You just got lucky you didn't get stopped out there. So that's kind of a risky trade. I'd rather have this happen a little bit lower down here. So you have at least eight ticks to get to the high or at least one tick below the high or two ticks below the high. So you have enough room to get out of this trade because price action worked just fine here. You can't say price action didn't work. It worked. And then from there, we make a new low and at that point I'm looking at this and I'm saying okay there's definitely a trend down here and it and it fits on both sides okay I keep forgetting to make sometimes I don't make them both on both sides but just so you know it fits on both sides that's your break and are you thinking that's the new low but then you got to kind of look at the bigger picture you got to say to yourself hmm this has been moving down a while so start to connect the dots look at this connect these and you see that's moving down you got those two that work this is the exact same channel on both sides. See how well it works? So you got starting to see that you're in a bigger trend than what you thought maybe at that time. And this is actually your break, not this, of that trend. And there is your new low. Now that trend is played out. Okay. Not to say that we couldn't continue to move it into a bigger trend. Because you could have. You could have moved it. You could have moved it. Um, and it could have been a wider trend if this would have come down lower, but it didn't. So you have to anticipate that that trend is over, and now price is moving up. You have a nice trend moving up that fits on both sides. Okay, at first you just keep moving it. So you start, you know, just like anything else. These trends are, you start here, you say, okay, there's a break, and there's a new high. Is it going to continue? Yes, it's continuing. Find the next higher low. There's your, there's your higher low. Okay, does it fit on both sides? Yes, it does. There's one touch, there's two touch. All right, so what do you get here? You get a break. You are at that point expecting a new high, or at least an attempt at a new high for a retest. And that's exactly what you get. And this right here, you get your, uh, your trend, make that nice and tight. I'll try to make this bigger, it's hard to see. Make that nice and tight. There's your trend line moving down, there's your break, and there's your new low. So you got two legs down. And then you're, you're below the EMA, so you're not gonna take that trade, but then you get a higher low right on top of the EMA, okay? And that is, uh, that is pretty much exactly how that one uh, worked out. And I actually dropped a limit order in at 4171.50. And my target was right there, 4174.0, which this went to, but it didn't fill me. So it kept me in the trade when it came back down here. So my runner never got stopped out or my scalp. And then it filled me one tick above and my runner got filled five points up there. And that was the end of my trading day. Um, but there you can see break new high. Now we have a downtrend moving, even though we're toward the end of the day. There's your break. There's your new low. And things always get seem to be getting funky around three o'clock central time. But um, price action works, and it works extremely well. Um, it's just finding the right time to enter. But you can see what's going on. You definitely can see what's going on. That's your overnight low. That's your overnight high. Um, it's playing in that range for a long time, but then finally, 
at 11 o'clock, it bounces right, goes right through. But don't tell me price action doesn't work when you look at this chart, okay? Break, new high, attempted a new high. Break, new low, or attempted a new low. Break, new high. Break, new low. Maybe a semi-break here, very tight. So there's your attempt at a new high. Doesn't go where you want it to go, but definitely there is an attempt. You can see it moved up. It just got pushed down right away. Break, new low. Shorter term, break, new low. Longer term, break, new low. Switching directions, break, new high. And down again. I mean, guys, what, what are we missing here? What are we missing? Nothing. This is exactly how price action works. And it continues to work. And it's not that complicated. There are days that are more complicated than others. But a lot of days are like this. Break, new low. Okay? Pretty easy way to trade. Pretty nice way to make a living. That's all I got, guys. Boomer is out. Don't forget to join that Discord group.